Your favorite color says a lot about you. For example, if you like red, you're wrong. Purple is the only right answer. It symbolizes royalty, power, and grape juice. So when I heard a player say this, green has got to be like the far superior color. I mean, really? Green? I'm gonna show this will that purple is easily the better color by building a giant mega structure that reaches into the heavens out of entirely purple blocks. But there's one small problem. Minecraft has like six purple blocks, and one of them reminds me of a skin disease. This base has to look amazing, otherwise it's not convincing will, so I loaded up a creative testing world to design something perfect. One week and several headaches later, I settled on a really cool design that I liked, and then logged on the server to start collecting the absurd amount of materials I I need it. Well, actually not yet. Before I start building this giant base, I need to find somewhere to put it. And I think this secluded valley right next to the world border is perfect. So I dug out an outline for the foundation and then started moving over the leftover resources from my team's old base. Since this new mega structure will also be a place for my whole team, we'll need everything a classic base needs. While my teammates traded with villagers and built complex redstone farms, I spent my time mining geodes. Now, before you say I'm not pulling my own weight, check out how much amethyst I've collected. This is already almost enough for the entire build, but I probably shouldn't have checked this off the list first because the amethyst layer is at the very top. Like, what was I thinking? That's the last part of the entire tower, and every other layer requires purple dye, which means I need flowers this isn't gonna work. So I think it's time to build the first of three farms we need for this mega base. Flower farms. They're pretty easy and the only material I don't already have is slime, but I only need one slime ball. Surely it won't take that long. I have been searching for an hour and I have not found a single slime ball. A single one. What is that? Bro, no shot this is what I think it is. Dude, no way. This is actually scripted. I just found a person's slime farm. Well, at least I can build the farm now. And I built it in the wrong biome. Dang it, bro. I'll just move it over here and save you the trouble. Now that I have an infinite supply of flowers, it's finally time to start actually building the base. But there's a problem. And that problem is Clown Pierce. Let me paint a picture for you. I'm in school, sitting at the back of my extremely boring six hour class, when suddenly I get a casual DM from my teammate Dominoco. Clown Pierce! In old base! I just got killed by Clown Pierce, bro! Bro! Dominoco seemed a little too panicked to respond, so as soon as the bell rings, I am booking it home. And yeah, maybe blowing through a few stop signs on the way wasn't the smartest idea, but I had to know if my Minecraft base was safe, okay? What I found when I got there, however, was worse than I could have ever imagined. Oh my gosh. All the chests are gone. He burned everything. He took all the netherwort too? Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Oh no, 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 oh no. Oh, he found me, he found me. Oh my gosh, he found me. I don't have pots. Oh, I'm dead, I'm, I think I'm dead here. I'm dead here, I don't know. He blocked off the, he blocked off the entrance. Oh my gosh, I told him, all oh, my inventory's a mess. Oh my, oh, yeah, nah, yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. As if dying to Clown Pierce wasn't already bad enough, when I returned to my base to try and recover my items, I fell down this random one block wide hole that leads straight to bedrock. Don't get me wrong, my teammates are great, but when I find out who put that there, it's not gonna end well. When I respond, Will was actually nice enough to give me an ender chest so I could regear myself. I was honestly shocked considering we had been enemies for pretty much the entire server, but I still have to prove him wrong by building this gigantic base. On the topic of colors, does anyone else hate the new white subscribe button? I wish they'd go back to the old red version, but I guess you can still click it. Only if you want to, of course. Now, dying sucks, sure, but the worst part about all of this was that Clown had burned all of the materials I had already collected for the build. This perfect location wasn't safe anymore, and I was basically back to square one. Well, not entirely. I still had 10 shulkers of glass that I'd stored in my inner chest, and the flower farm from earlier. The biggest issue was the location being compromised, so in the meantime, I decided the next step was to work on the second farm needed to complete this mega base, a guardian farm. I want to create this cool fading glass floor effect, but that isn't possible without a layer of sea lanterns at the bottom. And because this tower is so massive, I need over a shulker box. Now, I wasn't exactly stoked about building this because guardian farms are usually very tedious and require draining out an entire ocean. But I found this amazing design by ENX04 that was super simple and allowed me to make use of my glass. Going up.
As I started to build the farm though, I began to think. The only reason Clown had killed me and destroyed our base was because of Muggum, one of my teammates. He had absolutely humiliated Clown Pierce on two separate occasions, causing Clown to strike back by hunting down our whole team. I couldn't help but wonder if none of this would have happened if I'd never teamed with Muggum in the first place. But as I was working on the Guardian farm, he went out of his way to come and help me. He'd even found a new location to build the base at, and it was at this point that I decided I'd made the right choice. I was no longer just doing this to prove a point to Will, but also to create a safe home for my team. Once the farm was finished, I was easily able to obtain all of the sea lanterns I needed, and Muggum had already set up some villagers at the new location, so we were back in business. And then Clown Pierce found and destroyed it all within four days. It's all gone. Clown destroyed everything. All the villagers. That's another base. We've lost a clown in less than a week. At this point, it was getting ridiculous. He even jumped me again while I was at some random abandoned base, and then proceeded to chase me around the entire map for five minutes with his elytra. How am I supposed to build a giant mega base if this crazy lunatic is constantly flying around the server destroying everything I touch? If only there was a way to make the world bigger so it would be easier to hide. Yeah, there's a way to expand the world border. World, bo world border. But it requires nine special items that have been hidden around the world, and my team has only found eight. If I want to finish this mega base, expanding the border is pretty much my only option at this point. Otherwise, it will certainly be destroyed within hours. So we need to get that ninth item, and you'll never guess who has it. McClutch. It's McClutch. McClutch is, for the lack of a better term, a gatekeeper. He wants to keep the final expansion item for himself so no one else can expand the border. And for some reason, he has an entire team supporting him on this. I'm not sure why you'd want to deliberately deprive yourself of basic necessities, but we have to stop him at all costs. Ready to hear the plan? Let's go. The gatekeepers want to starve the entire server of resources so that when the border actually does expand, they are the only major power left. Our solution? Kill them all one by one until McClutch is forced to give over the last expansion item to save his team. Now, I'm not traditionally a very violent person, but one of the gatekeepers is Will, and he accidentally made what some might call a massive blunder. He's asking what I'm doing. Oh, what the heck? Should I say yes? I'm say, I'm say yes. He's in the end. Oh, he's in the end. Okay, should I head to the end? Is that where I go? Now, this was a tough decision. Will hasn't really done anything wrong to me at this point, besides disliking the undisputable best color. But if I could catch him off guard and kill him right here, not only would it bring us one step closer to expanding the world border, but it would also be an undisputed victory for purple over green. I mean, just look at our skins. There's no clear way to settle this argument. So, for better or for worse, I made my way to the stronghold. Okay. I'm gonna go into the end in Viz. Hopefully there's not like something there. He's doing a respawn? Why is he telling you that? I don't know. Oh, okay. He is not be trapped. Hopefully he's not be trapped. Okay. Oh, he's respawning there. Oh, he is here. He's in the end right now. This could be your chance. What is he doing? The end portal's blocked off because the dragon's alive. The fight was going well, and it seemed like I was on the verge of winning, but... He hit me with unfortunate. Okay, now hold on. What just happened? Well, this is the Bliss SMP, where every player has a unique gem with superpowers. We'll just use the Wealth Gem to cancel 30% of all my actions. Luckily, I had the Astro Gem, which gives me the ability to launch these tiny daggers that do insane damage. He has to be dead. He's so dead. What? Dude. What the frick? What are you doing? I, he's trying to, he's tipping my durability. That's what he's doing, bro. He's got obsidian. What is he going to do with that, bro? Dude! Rick, that's not good. That's really bad. Okay, um... The dragon was almost dead, and it seemed like Will was going to escape unscathed, but the Astrogem has one final ability that I might be able to use. Astral Projection. Hitting another player with the Astrogem allows you to spectate their body, and if I could perfectly time this ability right before Will jumps through the bedrock portal, it might take me straight back to his base, which would effectively win us this war right now. Shoot.
He got away, bro. He got away. Oh no! I had been so close, but it didn't work. Will got away, and we were no closer to expanding the border. I should have just stuck with my original plan of building the mega base, but the possibility of gaining a quick and easy victory got the better of me. Now Will would probably never trust me again, and I had made no progress. It became clear that violence was not the solution anymore, and if we wanted to expand the border before it was too late, we would have to negotiate. But there's a tiny issue. I already described McClutch as a gatekeeper, however, there is a word that probably describes him far more accurately. Scammer. He's a huge scammer. So when we asked him what he wanted in exchange for the final expansion item, I kid you not, he sent this list. Like, who can afford that? I don't even know how to craft some of these items, let alone get all of the materials. But this was our only chance. We may never get an opportunity like this again. And so we began to grind. And when I say we, I actually mean everyone else except for me, because I'm not gonna lie. I contributed absolutely nothing. With all of the resources Clutch had asked for, including the 32 freaking netherite blocks, we were ready to make the trade. Well, not exactly. There are two items on this list that are way too valuable to give up to McClutch. A netherite sword and chestplate. Okay, now hold on. Didn't I just say that McClutch asked for 32 netherite blocks? That's 144 times the netherite needed for one sword and chestplate. Why are they more valuable? Well, long story short, netherite armor and swords are uncraftable on this server, and Mugum has the only sword and chestplate in existence. These one-of-a-kind items were just too rare to give up, in addition to this outrageous list of items. So we decided to give McClutch a taste of his own medicine and hit him with the a little scam. So Mugum and I, with a little help from our friend Tyrad, came up with the most complex, foolproof plan imaginable. Give McClutch some shulkers with all the items except for the netherite and hope he doesn't notice. Yeah, we didn't really have many options, but McClutch is pretty dumb, so there's a chance it might work. Should we go to like a random area? If you're gonna run away or something. Why wouldn't I, I run away after I get the item? I don't have the item on me, so I can go wherever I want, right? You don't have the item on you? Why would I have the item on me, Mugum? Oh, it's we're doing a trade, bro. Oh my. I was just thinking like, like I would just give you guys the coordinates to the location. You just just jump me right after you receive the item. We would still have someone stand here and wait, basically just watch you. Give us the cords. Well, you gotta give the item first. Okay, okay clutch. These are the terms that we agreed to. Like, I don't I wanna read that. Bro. You have to sign it. I don't wanna turn the page. You turn the page on the bro, screen. Bro. You are actually just. Oh, bro. okay. Look. Do you, what do you think? You trapped the book, bro? Clutch. You're not allowed to each us these items yet. In here, 32 netherite blocks, 32 tokens. Here are the totems you requested. You have all the items right here. I'll even stand next to you. So now you guys want the cords? Yeah. With all of the shulkers in place and our side of the deal upheld, it was up to Tyrod and I to go collect the final expansion item while Mugum stayed with McClutch. It all came down to this moment. Had we been scammed? Was the item even there? As these thoughts raced through my mind, I didn't even consider the biggest flaw in our plan. Hey, where's the armor, kid? <laughs> but you already gave the coordinates. I mean, you still got a ton. Let's be real. There he goes. He's going to the item, by the way. All right, I think, okay, e quarter got it. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have it yet. Wait, did you guys get it? Oh, I think so. Oh, dang, Clutch. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> what do you feel? But I don't think you guys are there yet. No, they definitely are. What is that? No, you can't get there that quickly by spam for I'm sorry. I don't think so. Did you not see- did you not read the recording next? They weren't that close. What do you mean they weren't that close? Why did- why did you gatekeep it like this entire time, bro? Like, what was the purpose? I got it. I got it. I got it. Wait, did you jam get it? it? Did you jam get it. it? Let's go, E! Let's go! I got it. Those five rockets I had in my HS came in so clutch, bro. Well, this is why you don't trust people, folks. I'm always a man of my word. That wasn't the deal. Bye-bye. Dude, I was so <laughs> nervous when I realized he was flying here, bro. Oh my yes, gosh, dude, I had to whip, I, like, I had, heart was but like then I remembered I had five rockets in my E-chest, so I just grabbed them and put on my elytra and flew there as fast as I could, dude. Five rockets. That was the only thing stopping the clutch from scamming us and keeping the border closed forever. And you know what's ironic? The only reason I even had those five rockets in the first place was because Will gave them to me earlier as a gift. Now, that might be because rockets cost an arm and a leg on the server, but maybe there's something more behind it. Nevertheless, we could now finally expand the border, and I could find a new location to build the mega base where I would be safe from absolute psychopaths like this guy. And I think I know the perfect spot. Right here. Okay, okay, before you go into the comments and flame me, I originally did need the border to expand to build the base, but the conflict took so long that Clown Pierce actually got banned for inactivity, so he's not even on the server anymore. Plus, this place has been abandoned for so long that while everyone else is out exploring the new chunks, I'll be able to build to my heart's content and no one will suspect a thing. But now I gotta fill this in. Oh, dude, this looks so sick. 
Are you serious? It was at this point that I truly began to understand what I was getting into. That singular layer took me 15 minutes. Multiply that by eight, and it's going to take me over two hours to build the floor. And I have to finish this whole thing before it gets green. Luckily, I started getting into a rhythm, which strangely enough, reminded me of building those giant pumpkin farms on my Hypixel Skyblock Island. Did anyone else ever build those, or was that just me? That layer, honestly, the glass was not that bad. Now I have to do it seven more times. But before I can do that, I need to put something around it so it's not just floating in the air. So I borrowed a beacon from Quackitus and tore down this mesa to make blue terracotta, which is purple for some reason. And this is final glass block. The entire floor is done, and it looks sick. It looks like I'm just standing over the abyss. Wow. Now I've just got to build all of this. Oh, well, this is gonna take forever. Things were going great, and I was finally making visible progress on the build. But one day I logged on to see this. What is that? Why is there a castle? The border literally just expanded like two days ago. How is there already a castle? And whose is it? If somebody like Will is building this, this is a massive problem. I don't like this being here. So I did the only reasonable thing. All right, bro, I'm mining this, I'm mining this castle. Get this out of here, dude. Oh, that scared the crap out of me, dude. I thought that was a person. Am I petty for doing this? Yes, but do I care? No. No, I don't. The next step was to make the tower into an actual, well, tower. The first layer is made up of calcite and purple concrete, so I did a bit of excavation and then got to work. As I started to build the calcite foundation, however, I ran into a big problem. Yeah, so three players have already discovered this place due to it being Patreon week, which is basically where people who support the Bliss Patreon get to play on the server as guests. Now, it's not as bad as if an actual member discovers it because they're going to be gone within a week, but it's still kind of a problem because they could spread the word amongst the other Bliss members. On the bright side, I found a really cool way to place the concrete that was much more efficient than converting it all with a pickaxe. This is going to be really satisfying. Okay, maybe not quite as satisfying as I thought it would be. I'll turn on the placement. You can see no incorrect blocks. We're only missing... Well, okay, we're still missing 40 stacks. And so at this point, I've basically finished the entire hardened concrete layer. I've also made a little stairway to get up into the base. The issue is that I'm stupid. Remember 16 minutes ago when I said that I needed three farms for this base? Yeah, well, I forgot how to add, and I still haven't built the wool farm for the next layer. So let's get on that. Now, building the actual wool farm was super easy. The problem was the actual sheep themselves. I don't know why they resisted being locked in a one block chamber for the rest of their lives, but it was extremely annoying. That took way too long. These sheep have no chill, oh my gosh. Finally, bro, that took like almost two hours. This farm is actually OP, wow. For the next few days, my life consisted of eating, sleeping, and running around in circles placing purple blocks. The next two layers were honestly really boring, so I'll spare you the details, but I did start having occurrences like this. And this. And this. Oop. Uh, I can clutch this. We're fine. The tower was getting so tall that it was becoming dangerous, not only because of the fall damage, but because more and more players were starting to notice. And how do I know this? Well, the next time I logged on, I was met with this. What the heck? Oh my gosh, I am of course. I can't have anything, bro. I can't have anything just because I'm freaking team with Muggum. Okay, okay, very funny, guys. Very funny. Nah, dude. When I see when I see like this, like the one block wide holes in the glass, bro, like that's targeted. Like, come on, bro. Why would you do that? I later found out that there was a huge fight at my base at 1 a.m. And I know it might seem like I was overreacting in that clip, but you could see several holes that had clearly been made by people launching fireballs with the fire gym. Because of the nature of this tower, all it would take is one misplaced fireball, and yeah, you get the idea. The reality that this entire place could come crashing down in an instant had never been more clear. But as discouraging as this was, I had come way too far to give up now. Literally, it's been over three months at this point. I refuse to waste that much of my life. Now that I've gotten the tower to a pretty substantial substantial height i'm starting on the little side part that juts out here i mean if you just look at the shape it is really complicated <laughs> um placidus has just arrived at my base and i can't help but notice that he's flying in a boat i'm a little scared is he hacking he's telling me to get in are we gonna ride this is amazing it's honestly nice to just have a break from like 
grinding this base. Potential hacking aside, at this point all I had left to do was to finish the main tower. But I'm honestly getting pretty bored of aimlessly placing blocks, so I've just crafted a fresh shulker box of concrete powder and we're gonna see exactly how far one shulker of concrete powder gets me. Luckily I'm really fast at placing blocks, so that only took about one second. Are you serious? Oh, oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. I need to get out of here. Oh! Building this tower might be the most dangerous thing I've done on this server, and that's saying a lot considering how dangerous this server is. Despite my near-death experience, we should be done with the base, right? No. Because if you go back about 19 minutes, you'll remember that I lost all of my amethyst. Not sure how that happened, but now that's the only thing left, so it's back to the geode mines for hopefully the final time. I think I just found a double amethyst geode. This is way too wide. Yeah, so there's a second geode inside this geode. So it's like geodeception. You know, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have waited to fill the amethyst in until later because this is not going to be fun to fill in at all. Like, it's genuinely, like, hard to believe that I'm about to be done. This is by far the biggest build on the server. No one really knows what it's for, what it is, or why it exists. All they know is it just appeared. I'm kind of excited because once I show this base to Will, it's not going to be a mystery anymore. Even if Will hates it and it doesn't convince him, I still think this is one of the coolest bases in Minecraft, really. It's actually crazy. Oh my gosh. I just placed the last block and I had no idea after all this time. It's really, it's truly incredible. Oh my. Oh my gosh. I'm going to bring Will over here pretty soon and show it to him. Hopefully he doesn't creep it or try to kill me. Hello. Hello. What's up, Will? What are we doing? I have something I want to show you. Follow me. I promise there's no portal traps in the nether because I would have died if there were. Uh, oh, that was sad. I'm sorry. I fell. Hold on, I need to uh, take a meat break. Give me a sec. Sorry, I need to take a vegetarian break because I care about the environment. Why is the way to get here so convoluted? I never simplified it. I've just always taken this path. Oh, it's scary. So, uh, ignore that massive thing that you may or may not see in the distance. I'm looking at it. <laughs> I spent a very long time on this, in case you could not tell. Oh, no, I can tell. It is big. I just wanted to show that purple is the best. I think there is a lot of purple to appreciate on the server, as you can see right here. I know, I'm, I'm looking at Granted, this is just like a small portion of purple. It's, I mean, it's just like a small that's part true. of the world. I open up my world map right now. Okay, that's, that is true, purple, but... Purple to okay, know. but is there a green base on the server that's better than this? Um... No. Exactly. Because I'm not gonna lie, my original idea for this video is I was just gonna kill everybody that didn't like purple, but I thought that was kind of lame so i decided instead of just killing everyone who doesn't like purple i'm gonna like actually make an argument to show that it's the best color on the server so like theoretically if somebody were to make a structure that is green that is larger than this you would have to concede that it was the better color right i mean probably but fortunately that doesn't exist on the server so fortunately it's not going to ever exist i don't have time to do that you know what a good amount of dedication's gone into this and you know if you care about purple so much as to build a gigantic structure like this then you know what i can concede that maybe purple is at least a c tier color are you for real maybe low b tier but that's as high as i'm going Okay, you know what? I'll take it, whatever. And if you enjoyed this video, you're probably gonna love this one as well. Who knows? You might even like it more. 